Welcome back. So we spent, uh, not last night, the night prior, we did all the insulation like you guys saw. For this, uh, I went and found this on Facebook Marketplace. It's a Dynaglo Deluxe. Uh, it's 200,000 BTU kerosene or diesel heater. Um, like I said before, you can pour fuel oil, diesel, uh, kerosene, pretty much anything except gas into this thing and it'll warm it up. Um, this one being 200,000 BTUs says that it's good to heat 5,200 square feet. So that's, you know, more than what we need. And, uh, yeah, so I just went ahead and found this one. Like I said, it was on uh, Facebook Marketplace and brand new in the box, never been open. So let's go ahead, get it out, get it together, get some heat in here because we have some work to do on the Super Duty. All right, so we have uh, this side here and we're just going to drop these screws in. What's going on, dude? Uh, we're going to drop these screws down once I get this a little bit lined up. Let's see if we can get this one. There we go. And now you just have these little nuts here. I don't know if you can see them that well, that are gonna go on the bottom. Like everything else, just put it all together real loose. Uh, don't, don't tighten any of them up yet. And then once you get all of them in place where they need to go, then you go back and tighten them up. So let me pull one of these back out. It's still gotta go forward. Let's see if I can get this forward any. All right, so we got those screws real lightly assembled. We could go now and tighten them down. Obviously I have the screws all on the bottom, so it's not gonna change anything. But I'm just gonna go ahead and finish these two little extension cord uh, wraps. So these are gonna go through like this, go through like this. You put the nut on the back side, and there you go. Actually, yeah, that's better. We're gonna put them this way so the head of the bolt is on the back side. I was trying to keep it out of where you wrap the extension cord through. Uh, here, the head's a little bit shorter, but it doesn't actually fill the holes that well. So I don't want it to pull through or anything. We'll do it this way. We lose a little bit of real estate in this hook, but that's okay. So we have these two now to do on the other side. Golly. If I could hang on to him, it'd probably go faster. There's one and two. Okay, so we got our eight mil wrench here, which is the wrench we need to tighten them up. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten all these screws here that we put on and the eight across the bottom, the four on each side that'll hold this top handle on, and we're good to go to fire it up. All right, so real quick, uh, one of these diesel heaters, you plug it in back here with a 120 extension cord. This one's kind of cool. Um, you plug in the one side and you have the, a plug on the other. So, you know, it's just kind of like a straight through. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, it's got a, on switch back here, that's your on and off. Digital thermostat here, so it'll tell you how warm the building is. This right here is your temperature that you want it set at. So you have 40 all the way to 110. We'll keep this in at 60 and see, you know, if that's too hot or whatever for us. You have your fuel fill 
uh, your cap. So you just pull this off, pour your fuel in there, and then you have a fuel gauge beside it. And this fuel gauge tells you how many hours you have left in the tank and then empty or full. So it gives you kind of both. So enough talking, it's cold. Let's uh, fill it up and fire it up. All right, so we just threw two five gallon jerry cans of diesel into this thing. Um, it's roughly at the three quarter mark. Uh, like I said, this should take 13 gallons to fill. There should be 10 or so in there right now, close enough. So all we're gonna do is plug in the extension cord, hit the on switch, and the thermostat's already set. It should go by itself from there. Now, I will go, we're starting at 40 degrees right now. Um, and I'm gonna see how long it takes for this to shut off and get this area to the 60 degrees I have it set. Um, so that's one thing I'll put in. And then the other thing is right now, it's a roughly at the six hour mark. It says it's gonna run. I wanna check and just see roughly how close that gauge is. So any of you guys buying it will have uh, a better idea of, you know, how well do they know their product? So let's go ahead and plug it in, turn the on and go ahead. There you go, 39 degrees. And that's it, that's all it's gonna do. So you got heat blasting out of this thing now. And like I said, we'll time it and see how long it takes to get up to temp. 72 hours late. So here we are and in our new shop, it's a steel building, we get zero cell phone service. As soon as you close that door, nothing. It's really hard to even get a radio in here. So. We're not gonna be able to work all winter with no radio, and it really sucks when you get a phone call, you gotta run outside. It hasn't been that cold yet, but it's been cold enough to just kinda of annoy you. So, we're gonna be on to the next video here and the newest install. We went and ordered this cell phone receiver off of Amazon. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what's actually in the box. So, you put this open. All your manuals. So this is your outdoor uh, receiver. This has to go pointing in the direction of your closest cell phone tower. And it says it reaches between five and eight miles. So that's way longer than I think we're going to need. Um, I did some math and we're roughly two miles away. Mile and a half, two miles. Um, it's kind of a straight shot to the northwest corner. And this thing is kind of finicky. Um, I talked to some people about it. And if there's a big tree line or, you know, skyscraper or something in the way, it may not work the greatest. But luckily for us, we shoot this way through a whole bunch of farmer's fields. And there's a river. And right on the other side of the river is the tower. So I'm hoping that we'll get decent service. And being that it's close, um, that thing can shoot, you know, three to four times as far as we really need it to. So I'm hoping that that will actually help get a good signal in here as well. The next thing in the box is our indoor receiver. So you can see here, it's just an indoor antenna. This is gonna hang inside the building. And what happens is the outdoor receiver goes, uh, grabs the cell phone signal, it goes through the cable to the back of this one, and this one broadcasts it through the shop. So we have those two pieces. And a bunch of cables, mount, so we got a bunch of cables left and the mount. So basically what we need to do is we need to run a coax cable through the siding and then up. They say you can go on the roof, we're not going to. We're going to run on the front wall, the uh, west wall of the building. Um, the north and the south walls, they get a, um, an east trough and downspouts put on. They're not on yet, we ran out of time, so that'll be in the spring. So I'm nervous to drill anywhere near where those are kind of going to be in that area because I don't know where the downspouts are going to go and etc. So I don't want to put a hole through the siding and then find out it's in the wrong place later. The east and the west wall, those have nothing, uh, no downspouts or anything, that's the peaked side. So I feel confident in 
running a hole through that and then we'll just put them out as soon as we get outside so it'll just be one hole a couple bolts coming through and that's all um, we're gonna go ahead and silicone all those and get them all you know gooped up so no water or anything gets through and then we have a 40 foot coax cable that will go from this side here and we'll stretch it as far as we can through the building to try and get that um, interior antenna as close to the center as possible. Uh, you can imagine that if I did it at one end of the shop, you know, 80 feet away, it's probably not gonna be as good of a signal as if you were right in front of that antenna. So I'm gonna try and run that thing just down the center, uh, to the center of the building on the north wall. Again, I understand that, you know, it'd be perfect to have it right in the center of the building, you know, dead center, but that's not gonna work for our application. So the best next, the next best thing that I can do is run all the way up that wall and drop it there. So it is freaking freezing out there tonight. So we plan to uh, go up, I'll drill the hole through the siding, get that all cleaned up, try and get the exterior stuff done. And then I'll start running the interior after. Um, who knows, it's pretty late tonight, I am pretty tired, so we'll see what happens. If I can get the exterior stuff done, you know, I can wrap up the interior stuff another couple days or something. So anyways, enough talking, let's get at it and see what happens. So like I said, as a steel building, I get zero signal. Uh, you can see my cell phone here now. Um, I guess it would help if I knew where to point. There you go. Over in that corner, I have, well, of course it's going to show a couple bars now. Um, right when I just looked at my phone here, it was one bar. Now it's showing three. But I can tell you as soon as I go to make a call or anything, it's not going to come through. Um, I have to run to the door every time. Nobody can hear anything. So, you know, I guess it's like a kid. You take him to the doctor and everything's magically fixed. But... I figured I'd document that um, it's one bar now. Let's go ahead and get this thing installed and we'll see how many bars I get after that, okay? All right, so it's cold out there. We got the hole drilled, the cable pulled through the wall, and the exterior antenna mounted roughly where I think it's gotta be aimed. Um, so now we need to stretch the cable as far over as we can. And then we'll do the interior antenna, I'll show you that. Um, okay, so we got the cable ran. Uh, we got all the way to the other side of this beam right here Which is kind of where I was hoping to get so you don't see this antenna when you're in here um, so Outside you have the one coax that goes into that antenna like I told you then you're gonna set it to this guy right here Which is the outside? Cable and then this third one goes to a secondary antenna again um, a little further down so hopefully it'll help distribute the uh, signal. So we're gonna go ahead, plug in the coax, run an extension cord up to this little guy, and see if we have cell phone. So there you go, I have all bars on my cell phone right now. Let's try to make a call. I got LTE plus. <laughs> Me too, actually. Not LTE. LTE I have all the signals, so I'm calling plus. you. Let's see if it works in here. Oh, someone's calling me, sorry. Oh, somebody's calling you? Is it somebody important? 
Hello? Hello? Hey. It works. It works? It does. Yoo-hoo! Look at that. So there you go. Uh, only $699 later, which is quite ridiculous, but I have uh, one little two-year-old and I just had uh, twins. So my wife tried to call me a couple days ago and she was just calling, 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 calling. And uh, she couldn't get through to me because I was in here. So apparently now I have all the bars in the world. That's awesome. Uh, do you have internet? Can you surf the internet? Yeah. Because they wouldn't let me surf the internet out here before. Hell yeah. I'll try to run a speed test. Uh, let's do... I'm just going to go to Amazon. Uh, yes, yeah, it's already loaded. Okay, so that's way better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run that secondary antenna as far down as I can down this wall. It says it's probably another 40 feet or so. So I'm going to run it again as far down that way as I can. And... Um, I'm just going to put that secondary in because it was in the kit. I will go ahead and link the, um, in the description below the stuff that I used. And like I said, it's supposed to shoot like eight, five to eight miles and I'm only probably two to three away from the tower. Um, I just kind of eyeballed it where I thought it was and it works perfect. So yeah, I'm going to give this one a two thumbs up. Um, what else? Nothing, I think. Do stuff.